Welcome, I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Heroes on the private server Everlasting. We're with our natural Scrapper, Silver Phoenix, who's a martial arts super reflex Scrapper of level 30. She needs about 129,000 XP to get to level 31, and we have over 4.5 million influence. I sold some salvage because I had gotten full up. I didn't sell any orange, I don't think. Um, anyway, we're in this fifth column story arc, we've been chasing down Ubelman, who seems to have come from the past, and we're a lot more interested in Ubelman than his underlings, but we know we'll have to fight through the underlings to get to him. So, locate Ubelman and learn about him. I don't know, this might be the final story line, for the final mission of this story arc, we'll see. And there's some fifth column. So go ahead and use them. Okay, so we've got a couple ways to go here. I'll go this way first. It doesn't really matter because I have no idea where he is. And a lot of these cave networks sort of wrap around, although this one doesn't look like it's going to. Sadly, a lot of these are still plus zero. You can see the fifth column symbol, which is different from the council. It's got the V for the fifth column and the skull and the black and red Nazi colors. Council is green and black, I believe. I don't need that, so I'll go ahead and use it. I don't need that either. I'd like to get another heal in there. So do we need any glowies? I'm not sure. Sort of looking around here. I don't know who else might be around. I hear a glowy. Yep. There it is. Accessing the laptop computer that's sitting here. Nothing? There's nothing of use on this computer, so why is it here? <laughs> why is it here if there's nothing on it? Okay. So, there doesn't seem to be any exits over here, just making sure. Let's see, what does it look like? Now there could be something over here. Let's see. I hear another glowy. And there's a tunnel there. Before we do that, I gotta find the other glowy. <sighs> Come on, move forward. Move forward. Is it just this? Yeah, it seems like it's just this thing, and it's still humming, which is weird. Well, we may have to come back, I just don't know. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I'm missing something in there. I didn't see anything. It seems like it's just the old glowy is still humming, but um, I hear another one here. Nothing in there. Okay, there's some buddies.
really interesting how these guys, even though they're ranged attackers, run right up to you. Which is kind of stupid. Right, if they've got rifles, why don't they stay out? Especially if I'm a martial artist, right? Why aren't you staying out of my way? Who does that? Okay, nothing in there. But I heard a glowy over here. I thought I did. Yeah. Maybe on this side? Yeah. Okay, well, let's take these guys out first and they'll come back up. This looks like a workbench. Searching. Nothing. Numerous files here, but not what you're looking for. You take them and move on. Yeah, see, that's still humming, too. Well, that's a problem, because then you don't know if you've actually completed the parts of the mission you're supposed to complete or not. This might meet up with going the other direction where we were going, could have gone south. So there's three ways to go here. Let's see if this meets up. Looks like it might. Oh, there's some friends. Quote unquote. Look at that. With focus cheap, you get two shot. Oh, how'd I pass you? You know, and I can't remember when they replaced the fifth column with the council. If they took the Ubelman arc out, and then when they brought the fifth council back, which I think they did quite some time ago, but I don't remember the details. If they brought the Ubelman arc back, if Ubelman was renamed to some other man, because Ubelman's obviously German, and that wouldn't fit with a council. Um, I can't re really, I really can't remember. They definitely did some playing around with this to take all the fifth council refer fifth column references out when the council replaced them, and I'm I'm fairly sure, even though they never really wanted to admit it, that it was all because of Germany, you know, and that it's against the law to have Nazi references in Germany. Um, I'm just looking to see if Ubelman's around, but I don't see him. Tenant here, but it's not Evil Man. Hoping Evil Man is an elite boss, but we'll see. He might be a non powered guy, too, I'm not really sure. You know, kind of like Thunderheart or whatever his Thunderhead was. Okay, click. Nothing. Some information. No, so nothing important. Okay, back to the last tunnel. These are really cool bases. These fifth column bases, and these are new, or newer, right? It wasn't. They didn't have these in. I don't think at launch. I think they put them in in issue one or two. And I hear another glowy, and there is a vampire. I want to get them, because I think I need to beat up about three or four more. Five more to get the uh, badge, the vampire badge. We can check that. Um, closer to completion. We have seven more vampires to take out. Well, maybe 
Google Man's not in this and we're just finding information about him. Nothing. Hmm. Interesting. These glowies stopped humming. And this just wrote for rotates back around, so where the heck is Oobleman? Huh. Is there another glowy around here? Yeah. There we go. Nothing. Huh. There's another door. Ha ha. I knew we were missing something. So there must be another room. And they're definitely bad guys. Where? I hear you. Okay, so no one. There's a glowy here, I'm sure. There's another vampire. There's the glowy. Another glowy down there, too. Got him. So if we look at the badges, Four, right? So we need six more. Got a clue. Anonymous email. Found the following message on a computer in a fifth column base. So, Phoenix, it's good that you found the orders I had planted. I have been pleased with your ability to follow anonymous tips I've left for you so far. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Wolfgang Oberman left this base shortly before you arrived. While I am sorry to see so many of my comrades captured, it was a risk worth taking. Lieutenant Ubelman must be stopped. Now that he has gathered much of the information he sought, he will soon attempt to complete the purpose he was sent here for. Even now, he is likely attempting to jury rig a device to return him to his original point of origin. This cannot be allowed. I have provided you with the coordinates for your next target to stop Ubelman. Yeah, so clearly he's going to, like, try to return to Germany or something with, like, return to the Nazis with some kind of plans. And our another clue. Oh, wow. Zeitspiel Raum Experimente. This book, <clears throat> written in German in the last days of World War II, appears to be about early time travel experiments. One section has been highlighted heavily and notes are scribbled along the margin in English. The notes are about the abysmal failure rates of the program and about the test subjects used in the experiment. The identity of the last test subject jumps off the page at you, an intelligence officer named Ubelman. Okay. So definitely time traveling is going on here. We should have time to do the next mission. As you can see, this is quite a long mission, much long, what long story arc. It must have been six or seven missions so far, if not more. All the interest in the Second World War, the way he acted like he knew Thunderhead Bartlett, the tech thefts, and the mention of his name in that book. I hate to think it, I hate to say it, but it would explain so much. Wolfgang Ubelman may be a time traveler from the 1940s, the man from the past sent to observe the future. With the information he now has, he could change his future, our present. It would explain everything, everything except why that fifth column informant is trying to help us stop him. 
So available missions. He says, whoever Ubelman is, wherever he's from, our inside informant has given us a good shot at catching him. Apparently, the fifth column has been stockpiling parts for a time machine to send Ubelman back to the past. I still don't know if I believe Wolfgang Ubelman is a time traveler from the Second World War, but we should stop the construction of that device. We can't take a chance that it might work. Let's do it. Gotta go to Skyway City and stop them. So let's... Oh, burning building. Oh, cool. Hang on. Let's see if we can get this done. I mentioned this in a much earlier story arc, um, and I wasn't sure if they had these active because I hadn't seen them happening in here, but clearly they are active on the server now. If they were before, I don't know. Um, but there's a burning building right there, and if we can get to it in time, we might be able to save some people from the burning building. So there it is. Oh, uh, it might be late. It's pretty, it's pretty beat up. Let's see. Oh, there's other heroes here. Burning building, so is there a way? There's usually a fire department or something over here. Hmm. Yeah. Temporary power. And your temporary power is fire extinguisher. Okay, so we gotta get up here. If we can, it's hard to do. Ah! It's hard to do with super jump. Again! Oh my god. I just want to get up to the top. Oh my god. Alright, there it is. Okay, so. And the idea is you try to put the fire out. Wow, that's all it does? Jeez. Can you attack it? No. So basically you just have to put the fire out with the fire extinguisher. And the idea is if you can act fast enough, see we got some uh, people, some other people helping, but if you can put it out fast enough, See, we got some other heroes helping too. Right, and if you can put it out fast enough, you save the building from burning down. There we go, that one's done. We can work on this one. So this is pretty cool, I like this. Um, I, f I don't know if you get a badge or something for this, but we'll just keep working on it. You got some superheroes with, like, ice powers and stuff. Look at everybody's helping out now, see? That's cool. This is really awesome. I wonder if this works. No, it doesn't really. Too close. This is cool that, like, you see you get a bunch of heroes helping out. This is very, um, this is very superhero-y, right? This is something we asked the developers for very early on in the game, and it took them a while to put it in. But this is a really cool feeling where you've got all these heroes helping put a fire out and helping rescue people. That's really cool. Now, I don't know that I can do much more. Oh, there's another fire. I'm not sure what the end game is here, right? Because there's more fires spawning. Like, I don't know what you do after... I mean, you can go get more fire extinguishers, but... I'm not sure how you... How you end it. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know how you end the thing. There's all these fires that are still raging. I'm not sure how you end it. So these two and I, this guy and I are working together on this thing. The people who are hovering can hit the, the sides. I, the ones on the sides, I really can't. 
There we go. See, with two or three of us working together, you can put it out really fast. So, I don't know, is that sufficient? At some point, the fires stop, I think, if you put them out enough. We've got him out on the ceiling. Can I get that one? I don't know if it's in range. It is. Cool. Seems like we've got the fire well in hand. Yep, it stopped. And I think once you've got them all out, you get something. Okay, so they're all out. Is that it? Have we got them all? It looks like it. Alright, well, I don't know. You think you'd get a badge or something. Okay, so let's go to the... Um, but that's pretty cool. I like the feel of that. Where all these heroes show up from the middle of their patrols or whatever else they're doing and they grab fire extinguishers. And they go, hey, let's um, let's help out here, and they help out, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's go to Skyway City, and we're going to probably finish the Uberman storyline. Um, and we will select this mission. We will select, come on, select the mission. There it is. And I can't tell you how many times, when this game first came out, I went along this upper deck, super jumping down the middle of it, so many times. This brings back so many memories for me, guys. If it isn't clear by now, after over 100 episodes, I absolutely love this game. And I absolutely love things like super jump, martial arts, and super reflexes. All right, here we go. Stop the building of the time machine, and hopefully we'll capture Ubelman. The idea of changing the past is one that has long tempted the world's greatest temporal physicists. Most of the sane ones have learned to let it go. But Ubelman is not sane. And there's another vampire. We need six of them, so hopefully we'll get most of them in this mission. So I can get the badge. Okay, vamp. See if we can stun you. And then trip you. There you go. And you're done. Salvage full. Great. Okay, so this is gonna be a big warehouse, it looks like. I have no idea which way to go here, so we will just move along. This person said, good job, heroes. And we finished the, uh, the fire. Stealth, I keep forgetting about it. Oh, there's another vampire. We want that. <clears throat> uh, did not. I thought that, that I thought that um, dialogue might have been Oopal Man, but it's not. <clears throat> okay. 
Some more guys. parts to secure. Okay. <clears throat> Four parts to secure, so we're getting time machine pieces it looks like. Secured the parts. So we have a couple of parts that we have um, found, and we got several more to go. Wrong way there. Glowy back here. Oh, it must be upstairs. We gotta get up first. Yeah, there's an upstairs, clearly. You can see it up here. stuff. Area of effect. These are plus ones. That's the right level they're supposed to be. Okay. This is a pretty cool story arc, I have to say. I like the plot. We've got this German guy from the Nazis who came forward from World War II to try and find out like how not how Germany fared. You know, now that he knows you know, like where we landed on D-Day, he could go back and tell Hitler, here's where to defend, you know. That could be trouble. So we gotta stop him. <clears throat> so it's a pretty cool concept. I like it. And of course it's always fun to beat up Nazis. There's another vamp. How many do we need? We need four more. So this is this guy will be one. We'll only need three after him. So in case you're wondering, that's not dull pain. That is him absorbing health from me, I believe. Because that's what dark does, dark melee and stuff. It's a like a hit point transfer. Oh, I went too far. Okay, there's a glowy here. There's another part. Two parts to get after this. Is this where Ubi is? I don't know. Usually this is where the main bad guy is. In this room. But maybe not. We do have a lot of other places to check, I think, in this map. Right, we got over here and over here and down here. Often there's uh, the main bad guy standing right there, but not this time. All 
that's not Oval Man either. There's a Glowy over there. Okay, there's only one more part to go. So we're gonna have to come down here and then go up. And there's a clue. These orders direct the fifth column soldiers to take the parts they've collected to Portal Corporation Lab. From the looks of things, Uppelman is almost ready to attempt his trip back in time. So we got to stop him. All right. So now we have to find the the last glowy, which is up there. Yeah, see, that's a little spoilery. You know what I mean? Like, let me at least try to find it first, or something. I don't know. Okay, there's more guys, but not a man yet. Wonder where he is. Don't know if he's in this mission. Don't know if you fight him. You know, he might just be a normal guy, just a normal... He's a lieutenant, and he might not be a supervillain. He might just be a normal guy, I'm not sure. You would think, after all this, he'd be an arch-villain or an elite boss. In this case, an elite boss that you'd have to fight, but I don't really know. I don't remember. I mean, I know I did this arc on my original Scrapper, but I don't remember. You know, and then they took the council out of the game. Up, oh, there's another vampire. We only need two more after this guy. These guys are really fun to beat on. Because they can take a bit of punishment. So I like that. Okay, that's the last Glowy. That's the end of the mission. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know where Ooh Man is. Maybe that's not the final mission of this story arc. I guess not. So, he says, you prevented the fifth column from constructing that crazy time machine, but there's still one last thing you've got to do. You've got to capture Ooh Man and put an end to this. If he does have a way back to the 1940s with enough information to change history, then he has to be stopped. And these orders you found in the fifth column base tells exactly where to find Wolfgang Uwelman. Now you just have to catch him. So stop Wolfgang Uwelman, and then this is over. So I'm going to do that in the next episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is City of Heroes, and I'll be back with another episode soon.